You're just too shy to lay naked on a rock with a bunch of strange reptiles. So? So don't you ever just want to drop the disguise and run stark naked across the sand? Let your horns out, your stubby little tail flapping the breeze. Be the triceratops you always knew you could be. Stubby little tail? See, it's the trouble with you toppers. 65 million years, you still haven't learned how to cut loose. <laughs> you smell that? What is that? Six hours ago. They were feeding. identified the remains you found on Maurice Jones's property. Bone and muscle tissue from four different inmates from San Gennaro prison. Ha. Huh. Escaped during transfer to death row. I remember that. It was all over the news about a month ago. All four of them got away. Zeke Mackey worked for the prison system. Death row transfers. Zeke Mackey helped him escape. But what he was really doing was handing them over to some dinos. Who bundled them off to an abandoned yard owned by Maurice Jones. Where they became the main course at some Voice of Progress picnic. What about Rupert? How does Rupert get into all this? I mean, wasn't he an artist or something? Metal sculptor. Louise said he had just gotten a real job on the side. A trucking company. <laughs> I mean, what was he doing here? They didn't have a commercial operating license. I mean, they wouldn't have hired a metal sculptor to answer phones in an office. I mean, what's left? Hood ornaments. Bingo. Was that necessary? Rupert was here. Voice of Progress is trying to turn a bunch of dinos into full-on predators with a taste for human blood. Brainwashing them with psychological exercises. God knows what else. I know what else. Tarragon gas. SWAT team busted what they thought was a crystal meth lab a couple of days ago. What they found was 500 dried plants and a half a dozen canisters of vaporized tarragon. Of course, that didn't mean squat to the apes, but... We know better now, don't we? Tarragon was a banned herb. Inhaled as a gas, you're ready to take on King Kong. A cow in the dark room, four human dudes in a steel tank. That's just an appetizer. Which is where Rupert comes in. <laughs> What's the best way to transport a shock troop of dinos hopped up on Tarragon? An arm with talons and fangs, you can go through a quarter inch of steel. Hire a metal sculptor to reinforce the back of the truck with double that amount of steel. Yeah. Zeke, Maurice, and Rupert all knew something that could have exposed the entire operation. So we're all had him killed. Made it look like a suicide. But where's the aim in a truck full of dinosaurs? Shopping mall, civic center, ball game. Talk about making a splash. A dozen dinos tearing through a crowd of humans. What would it take to stop them? National Guard. <laughs> Rocket launchers, tanks. Hundreds of people dead by then. All of it on the news. That's just what Raw wants. Why? Destruction brings change, brings evolution. 
voice of progress. Dinos will be exposed as a threat. Humans will retaliate. We'll have no choice but to fight back. There's always a choice. Oh, apes won't give us one and you know it. It will never be the right time until we make it so. You overestimate our population's willingness. If we force the issue, they'll have no choice. You overestimate my patience. Your patience is irrelevant. Viva la revolution. No. No revolution unless it's approved by every council in every city in the country. You give me hard evidence tying Rao and Voice of Progress to any of this, and I'll hand them over to the council. Of course, that evidence was nowhere to be found. It never is with a guy like Rawl. How many times do I have to tell you? What? Tell me what? Lady called. What lady? Oh, don't remember. Thanks. I wrote it down. It sounded hot to trot. 